folks, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak. We're here at our flagship store in Oxtongue Lake at Algonquin Outfitters, and we're here with a good friend of mine, Art Fritz. Hi, everybody. Is one of my Algonquin Park tripping buddies, and Art has ordered and is receiving this absolutely beautiful Swift Canoe. And what are your initial impressions, Art? This is beautiful. I have a company that um, makes advanced materials for aerospace and space. And when you look at this, uh, this should be flying. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. I mean, it's really nice. Nice. Yeah, it's just what I dreamed of. Now, Art, where are you from? You've got a cottage up here in Algonquin Park. Where are you from and what brought you up here? Well, um, I like to say I'm from Algonquin, from Rock Lake, <laughs> because that's where I really feel at home. But uh, my family lives in Ohio now, and I grew up all over the states, paddled all over the states, uh, but Algonquin is uh, my first love. Now, I know that you've been solo canoeing for many years. Like, what are some of the types of solo canoes that you've been in, and what you currently own a solo yeah. boat? Well, I own a, a Mad River uh, Slipper that I bought back in 1980, uh, and it's a really nice boat. You've seen it. It's you've a great seen, boat. Yeah, nice boat. For the time, the technology was incredible. Um, but I've paddled so many different solo boats. I've, I've rented them here at the Outfitters in Oxtongue since I was, you know, a teenager and tried every solo boat that you can imagine. I've been in it. Nice. From, from Bells to Lotuses to Swifts to Sawyers to whatever. Now, what is it about solo paddling that you really like? Like being in a solo canoe, what does it mean to you? Well, you know, most people think, oh gee, it's, you know, you're out by yourself. But what I find in a solo boat, particularly if you have friends that, that'll paddle with you, it's actually more of a social event than being in a canoe with, when you're staring at somebody's head, the back of somebody's head. So I find it wonderful to be able to paddle side by side with somebody, and I've always loved that. Yeah, we, we do these great day trips in Algonquin where we get three, four, five people, and it is really fun. Right, and the, you know, you're going down a lake, you're exploring. Well, I want to go down the left side, you want to go down the right side, we'll meet at the end and trade stories. <laughs> it's great. Nice. Yeah. Now, the Cruiser 15.8. Why the Cruiser 15.8? Well, um, I paddled uh, the 16.8, the 14.8, uh, before the 15.8 was available, I think. Yeah. And, um, and I liked both of them, but my body size and my paddling uh, uh, style uh, because of the kinds of places I like to go. Combination of big lakes, a lot of little streams where I'm trying to work my way up a stream. Uh, the 16.8 the was a little too long for me. I felt like it was a little too much and the 14.8 uh, wasn't quite enough. And when this came out, uh, you know, I took it out, I paddled it, which I encourage anybody to do is to try it. And uh, it was perfect. So that's what I ordered. Now, you chose the pack canoe version. You're, you're a sit-down paddler. So you tried the canoe version, you tried the pack version. We settled on doing the pack boat seat for you and we did something special. We put a higher seat in it. Right. And what was it about the pack boat seat? Well, that, first of all, if you look at this thing, it's so comfortable for an old man like me. <laughs> <laughs> because. You know, I've been, I've been kneeling in a canoe, I've been sitting in a canoe my whole life. I like to be up, I paddle, kind of lean forward. I like to use a canoe paddle. And these boats are great for kayak paddles too, but I like the canoe paddle. And uh, in order to really feel comfortable, I felt like I just needed a little height on it. So that's what uh, I asked for, and of course that's what you did. You, you made it just a little higher for me. Now, we also, they come standard with the kayak foot braces. Right. We put the carbon foot bar in this boat. Right. And why the carbon foot bar for you? Well, it, the, the other configuration, you have your feet, you, I, I call them pedals for lack of a better word. So your feet are on either side of the boat, kind of stuffed up against the sides. And I just move around a lot in the canoe. And I like to have my feet in different places and the foot bar gives you the ability to not just move it back and forth, but for your feet to move this way. And yeah. that works out great 
particularly if you're in a, you know, on a river, working your way up a stream. Uh, you, you can move your feet around. It gives you more flexibility in the boat. Yeah, in our day trips, we've really learned, folks, you can do really windy, twisty streams with these cruisers, and we lean them over to the sides a little bit, and they just snap around the corners. Yeah. Now, we also put the mount package on it for you. Right. That's something that was important to you. Well, you know, I don't always fish, uh, but I do fish when I'm out. And I wanted to be able, I, I, yeah, I'm very skilled at taking a rod and sticking it between my legs, which I've been doing my whole life, but uh, I'd like to be able to hook up a rod. I'd like to be able to uh, attach things uh, in, in different ways. And if you're, if you're a fisherman, um, like in, in the spring, you're out for trout, or if, even if you're down in Louisiana or the glades in Florida, or the big thicket in Texas, those kinds of places um, where there's some great fishing and great outdoor activity, you want something where you, you're able to hook things up, you're able to be comfortable, stable, and, and still have a craft that gets you there quickly. Yeah. And also, you, you're in the seat for a long time, so you want to be comfortable in the boat. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, this seat definitely rocks. Yeah. Now, Art, you ordered the Carbon Enegra Tech Stream, which is the piece de resistance of Swift Canoe. And why this laminate for you? And, and why Swift? Like, what is it about Swift that really gets you excited when you pass? Well, you know, my, in my business is advanced materials for aerospace. I said that earlier. And, and you look at the way the gunnels and the thwarts are, are uh, put together with this where it's basically one structure. It's not, there's not fasteners, there's not screws. Um, it's all integrated into the shell, the hull. And that's actually a very advanced uh, type of construction for a canoe. And you don't see it. It's not uh, the common way that people do things. And it gives you the boat a uh, higher degree of stiffness and durability. Um, it's, it's just a fantastic uh, way to build a boat. And uh, there's nobody else out there that I've seen doing it. In the Carbon and Negra Tech Stream? Well, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's light, uh, it'll, it's impact resistant, and it's everything I want. Now, let's show the folks a really cool thing about this boat. Yeah. And something you, that's this very is my important favorite, to you. Favorite thing about the boat. Okay, so let's roll this over, guys, and let's show the folks. So Here. your their Nano has several important things to you. You've got a lovely dog, Nano. So why don't we bring Nano over here and get Nano in on this? So guys, this is literally not an a sticker or anything put on after. This Carbon and Negra tech stream is corp incorporated right into the finish. We've got a special way where we can put this in. Then we put the champagne gel on. Just beautiful. And Nana, what do you think, buddy? Yeah, so this is my paddling buddy. He's been my paddling buddy for a long time. He's very good on the portages and uh, he looks out for me. He's, he's, he's my, my second paddler in the solo canoe. And so this is in honor of Nana. Beautiful. Art, right, what do you think we uh, christen it and go for a paddle? Now let's do it. I can't wait. <laughs> nice. Nano gets to go paddling. Nano gets, right. gets to go for sure. Let's go, guys. Art, you complimented this beautiful boat with a carbon detachable yoke to make the portages easier. So why don't we give you the honors of flipping it up and carrying it down to the water and let's christen Perfect. the boat. Perfect. All right. Come on, Nano. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Swift is a fine Canadian company, and we love to christen our boats with our favorite Canadian beer, and Arts asked me to do it today. 
La Fin de Mon from Unibrew in Quebec. So we're going to spray this guy a little bit. And Art, we're going to christen this boat the Nano. The, the Nano. There I think it is. the Nano's the right way to do it. Yeah. And we, will, <laughs> we do have a wash station up. And, uh, what do you think? Art, you love Belgian triples too. You should have the first swig. Cheers. Cheers to Nano. And cheers to many more day trips and overnight trips in Algonquin. You got it. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. So what do you say we put this in the water? Let's go. Let's put it in. It's a beautiful fall day. We're just outside Algonquin Park. I can, if you want to hold on to Nano or he'll get a ride. Yeah, he'll get a ride. He's fine. Awesome. Nano, what do you think of getting a ride today? Nano always likes being up in front. He's quite adorable on all the day trips we do. Art's nice, young, spry, and flexible, so easy for him to get in the boat on his own. Well. Nice. Way to go, Okay, Nano, Nano you ready, buddy? Look at that oh, in the I like sun. Oh, I like the seat. That fabric Perfect. pops in the sun so nicely. <laughs> oh. Now, Art is a single blade paddler. 95% or so of our customers that use the cruisers love using a kayak paddle. A lot of the day trips we go on will take both a kayak paddle and a canoe paddle, but Art and I mainly use the canoe paddles. Look at that cloth in the sunlight. Nano, you're killing it. <laughs> Nano says the two thumbs up. Nice. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up from Nano. Two paws up. Two paws up. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, it's going to lead to a lot more fine tripping in Algonquin Park and other places. Nice. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up in La Fin de Mon. Mm. My friend, you're getting a beautiful boat. Cheers, folks. <laughs>